All right, so I have completed my uh, prototype MIDI concertina, and maybe my only MIDI concertina, we'll see. But uh, this one's very quick and dirty. We've got cheapo push button switches here, um, which probably won't last for a long time, but honestly feel better than I thought they would. Um, that's not saying a lot. They're not great, but um, not as sort of crunchy as I thought they could be. I've also got a one kilogram load cell for our bellows sensor, and uh, this actually feels a little sluggish to me. Uh, I'd like it to be a little more responsive. Um, that may be because of how I've got it mounted. I've got kind of some flimsy parts in here that I could beef up, and that might, you know, by stiffening that all up, that might uh, make it feel a little bit more responsive. But also, this thing only reads at 80 hertz, so there's probably a limit. Um, I'm probably not going to get some of the like types of articulation that I can do with my acoustic instrument, for example. Uh, but it does get the job done. And then we have an Arduino with USB for my MIDI output and all the control, of course. Uh, and a couple of toggle switches for some options that I can configure in software, but I'll talk about those in a moment. So first a quick demo. Yeah, it works just fine. I can control whatever instrument. Now, uh, some instruments, for example, like an organ, uh, it doesn't necessarily make sense to have the bellows controlling the, the volume. Uh, it can work in some cases, but then there's some instruments where really they just kind of fall apart and sound bizarre with the, uh, the volume ramped down and up when you do a bellows direction change. So uh, because of that, one of these toggle switches is set up to just turn off dynamic control. So the bellows will still control which notes play if I'm pushing or pulling, uh, but the volume will be constant all the way through. It's just ramped up to max all the time. So I'll flip that off, and now I can just you know hardly even touch this, and I get full volume as opposed to almost nothing. So I, you still have to be really careful about those bellows direction changes, you get a lot of chirps really easy, so. I don't know if you can hear, but when you're changing bellows direction, if you hit the, the key before the bellows change happens, you can get kind of that chirpy sound where it's playing the other note very briefly. Uh, something to work on technique wise, I guess. Uh, and then this last switch right here is actually to allow me to put the two ends on separate MIDI channels. So then in theory, you know, I can assign um, you know, a different instrument to the left hand side or control its volume differently or something like that. Uh, I can't do that with GarageBand because it doesn't have support for controlling different things with different channels, but um, yeah, it works with other software. I have tested that. I'm not sure how useful that'll be on a, an Anglo. Um, you know, I find on a lot of my arrangements, my melody crosses over to the left-hand side. So having the two sides do something different maybe isn't all that advantageous. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll come up with something else to assign this switch to. But that's really it. Uh, thank you for watching.